Welcome to this introduction for the mid-year update of SI8000 and SI9000E field solvers. What's key in this update is the ability to import impedance measurement data and this preview will give you a flavour of what's new in this update for SI8000M and SI9000E. We've always stressed at Polar how important it is to close the loop between predicted and measured results. This has just got a whole lot more easy by the addition of the capability of importing SITS impedance measurement data into the field solvers. The next few slides will show you just how. The SI8000 allows you to calculate the normal impedance and simulate the minimum and maximum according to the tolerance of the width, thickness, coating or dielectric height involved in the structure. What's new about this latest version of, of SI8000 is the ability to connect with the SITS controlled impedance test system and take in the log data through the SITS log file in order to display the logged actual impedance data against the predicted values. You'll see a new icon up here on the right of the toolbar, which is import SITS file. This icon lets you navigate to the appropriate SITS log file that you want to analyze. After pressing the import SITS log file icon, this is the new screen that pops up. I'll give you a quick guided tour. The first area is the read SITS log file. Here you can navigate to the file you want to import. You'll see that we show the SITS model and the instrument serial number, the number of records and the number of coupon tests per board uh, and give you a total count of the boards and coupons in the imported data. There's also an area for selecting the data log records so you can select the records in this case we're selecting layer one which has got a nominal impedance of 60 ohms and if you use the SI project you can link to the project structure that you've modeled and in this case you can see the structure modeled over here in the structure display area. In the graphing area you can see the measured data and the nominal limit. I'll show you a little bit more detail on the next slide. From a project we can see that we've got layer 1, layer 3, layer 6, layer 8 and in this case to make it easy to, to look at we've added all nominal impedances of 60 ohms. You can select, select layer 1, 60 ohms, select the matching structure and it'll take in the structure that's in the project you've loaded into the SI8000 or SI9000. Here's the plot of red, uh, red in data. You've got the measured information which is measured using the average method and the modeled nominal impedance. So in this case you can see we've got a nominal impedance of 60 ohms and all of these records are a little bit on the high side. You can click any individual data point and the pick data point information is shown here and extracted from the data log. So in this case we've got a pass, board serial number 7, the date and time of testing, the average and standard deviation of the impedance test. It's worth noting that you can select to compare the results with measured or modelled limits. So you can look at the specified tolerance from the measurement or you can look at the expected tolerance from modelling. It gives you complete flexibility and in the way you compare your data. This is a more realistic example. Here we've got a 60 ohm nominal impedance, plus or minus 10% to give 66 ohm max, 54 ohms minimum. And you can see that all of the results are well within specification, but they're all sitting a little on the high side of nominal. In the impedance options, we've included the nominal impedance and the tolerance, the plus and minus tolerance on the actual measurement. There's also the ability to view the data as a histogram. Uh, there aren't that many tests in here. You can only see a few coupons, but already you can see there's a normal distribution starting to build up. You can see the shape of the normal curve and it gives you some idea of the variation. Here we're looking at a 60 ohm nominal. It's actually the most common result is 62 ohms and the, the overall results are spread 
fairly evenly around the nominal impedance. But sometimes people think that impedance is an exact number, and this gives you an idea from a real production run how much variation to expect to get over a normal sequence of produced coupons or PCBs. Finally, you can see the raw data. If you want to analyze things in more detail, you can use this. This is the raw data taken in from the SITS measurement system. This is a very useful capability added into the SI8000, SI9000. It lets you look in a statistical way at the test data and lets you compare with the model data to explore the design space. I hope you'll enjoy using this and this new release of SI8000, SI9000 will be released in quarter three. You can have a chance for a web presentation for your local office. If you'd like to speak to them now, you'll find the addresses at the end of the presentation. So thanks very much for watching and here are the contact addresses for the people you need to speak to if you want to hear more about this new update.